Yeah, Joel Engel's office, please. Marty Cooper. Cell phone pioneer Marty Cooper wants to prove his personal cell phone works and a high stakes gamble for all the world to see. Here I was walking down the streets of New York and I thought, now, who should I call? Yeah, Joel Engel's office, please. Person that came to mind was my competitor at AT&T. Hello, Joel. Yeah, Marty Cooper here. To my uh, delight, he answered the phone. And I said, Joel, I'm calling you on a cell phone, but a real cell phone, a personal, portable, handheld cell phone. And there was silence at the other end of the line. And to this day, Joel does not remember that phone call. And if I were he, I'm not sure that I would either. A real handheld portable cellular phone. Marty Cooper's triumph <laughs> is in compressing technology and using <laughs> batteries to unchain the phone yeah, from cords like forever. When he does, the man anyway, who listen, bet it all changes today. the world. Yeah. For me, it's the men and women who went all in. They not only had the great idea, but they put everything on the line. Yeah, just thought you might like to be the first to know. It worked. Marty's phone is deceptively simple. A two-way radio sending and receiving calls to and from a relay station on his office roof. In a lot of ways, telecommunications technology is the same as the early days of wireless radio. It's a two-way communication system. But technology innovators would not leave well enough alone. With the addition of a simple camera, the cell phone makes anyone a one-man news bureau and ignites a social revolution. When you look at the cell phone and you think about what it's done in our society, think of the technologies that it's completely killed. Number one on that list, cameras. Sure, we have our big DSLRs, the long lens cameras, the professional cameras, but when it comes to the point and shoot, they're dead.